They say love is blind. Let's see what our single hopefuls get up to this week. You are now tuned into Love at First Sight, brand new on Africa X5. Twelve singles, two blindfolds, and a potential date. You are now tuned into Love at First Sight, brand new on Africa X5. So this is how it works. Singles meet blindfolded. You're what, sorry? A semi -foot footballer. So a semi -foot footballer? Yeah. So. That's good, that's what I like to hear. Then the unveiling. So you like the suspense? No, no. Hiya. It's simple, like what you see, you can stay. Not like, Don't like what you see? You can leave. I can see. Um, I think I'll need to go get a drink. Ready to go and get a drink? Yeah. If our singles both decide to stay, then we have a date. Sorry. I see the dollars as well. They're sitting there. One, the there's one dollar over here, there's a pound, there's like pounds over there. You are now watching Love at First Sight. You? Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Good. Uh, what's your name, sorry? Crystal. Uh, my name is Kunle. Sorry? Yes. Kunle. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just go with that. It's, yeah. it's probably best for you anyways. Okay. Um, I'm, just, I'm just bringing my hand out now. I don't know if you want to you wanna shake it. Where is it? Oh, yes. oh. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice strong handshake. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. So how are you doing anyways? How's your yeah, day going? It's been all right so far. Yeah. I've met you, so that's a plus. Hi, my name is Crystal and I'm from East Ham. I actually work in Ann Summers, I'm a manager there. What time is it? Like a cross between like Idris and Tom Hardy. Okay, see. So what, what kind of like people or guys do you usually go for? Um, what, physically? General. Physically, General, mentally, spiritually. Like, um, I guess. A guy that can pretty much keep up with me. Okay. Like a cross between like an Idris and a Tom Hardy kind oh, of thing. Wow. I and mean, has to have a good heart. Yeah. And be funny. Okay. And you so, know, yeah. he has to have a brain. Yeah, definitely. But like, yeah, just and everything else will come with that, really. I like, you know, women or women or ladies that are very sort of like. Um, you know, motivated in life, they know what they want, they mm. go getters, that yeah. that sort of stuff there really. Mm. I don't know if, if I don't know if any of that strikes you or you know? Yeah, literally I'm very ambitious. And yeah. I see something I want, I go after it. Okay, good, cool. that's, that's definitely good. Hopefully yeah. maybe you might even see something you want today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and we take it from I there. Can, do I get to try before I buy? You wanna you wanna try before you buy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it depends. <laughs> what what does that mean essentially? I would say the main strengths are getting to know people, you know, finding a connection, having fun, doing all, you know, the bits that come with that, and the weaknesses is chatting dead or the person's boring. You want to try before you buy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it depends. What, what does that mean, essentially? I literally, like, you know, see, see what's under the hood kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, definitely. I, I definitely say that to be honest. Yeah. So I can't complain. You know. So, what sort of like educational background have you had, or? Oh, I went to you, you know college mm. and studied business, and okay. you know, really so, just that, and just I'm a manager right now. I see. So, what, yeah. do, you, do you have any like plans or aspirations to ever own your own business, or are you just looking? Yeah, to that's that's on that's on the you know on the cards, yeah. but like finding Mr. Right is like important as well. Because okay, yeah. I've got like the work side sorted, mm. just want the Mr. Right thing okay. there in that little, in my pocket. Yeah, okay, so you're, you're looking for Mr. Right, I'm actually looking for Mrs. Right. Oh, so, very you know, interesting. You know, maybe, maybe we can click like that. 
Yeah, um, more than click. I want it to be like, <laughs> you know, a key. You want it to be head over heels on the yeah. floor, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, both of us on the floor, okay. but you know. Because we've collapsed from our hearts, you know? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's all right then. That's all right. I like that. Mm. I go by the name of Philly. Um, my parents are into, you know, oil, gas, all of that sort of stuff there. So I'm looking to go back to Nigeria very soon. I'm looking to find myself a wife before I go back. You didn't say what you like physically. What do I like physically? Yeah. Uh, I like strong women, strong, independent women. You know, like I said, they have, they have to be motivated to yeah. win that as well. You know, someone who doesn't, someone who, who knows what they want and doesn't really take too much nonsense. Um, what else do I like? So in regards to physical, um, no, I like, you know, women with a bit of meat on themselves. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you know basically, I mean? you like your breasts and your thigh. Yeah, yeah, essentially. <laughs> so, yeah, you, hit the, you hit the nail on the head, as yeah. they say. So it's all good. It's all about hitting it at the end of the day. No, I've never been on a blind date. This is my first time. So, you know, so it was always the first time for everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, I like motivated women, women who know what they want in life. Somebody who doesn't like to, you know, mess around. Somebody who's quite straight to the point. What, are you quite local or? Oh, I'm in East Ham. Okay, so yeah. it's not too, too far. No, too, but you know, far. like, nowadays it's not easier to get anywhere. You can yeah. get anywhere even by a tube or train any time of the day, so. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's fine. Well, I say that, I feel like the journey is definitely worth it, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. So, so what sort of stuff do you like doing in your free time? Well, really, you know, going to the gym, because I've got to keep in shape. Okay. And, you know, typical girl thing like shopping and yeah. stuff like that. Mm. And, like, you know, going out, really, going out to the club. Yeah. You know. Not shaking my foot, but shaking everything, kind of thing. <laughs> How would I classify Mrs. Wright? Somebody who can just understand me, accept me for who I am, and uh, is just willing to grow with me in regards to what I'm looking for right now, to be honest. Well, potentially, I'm looking, I'm hoping that I can find her one day, you know, <laughs> as though there's someone out there for everyone. You know. Not shaking my foot, but shaking everything, kind of thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, and so like say, going on holiday as well. Mm, so you say you like going to the club. Yeah. So what, what is that, would you say that maybe one of the reasons why you're still single, looking for somebody else, well, so they're willing to shake your, you know, your body to everyone and everyone and anyone, sorry? Well, no, not or, really. Just if I'm feeling the tune, I'm not going to be all stush oh, and just standing yeah. there with a glass. Okay. Like I'm going to get involved in, like if the DJ, Yeah. Is in a, is an element, then I'm gonna get involved, and I don't like go out by myself. <laughs> I go out with like my girls and stuff like that. So mm. it's a proper night out. Yeah. So then, and why, so then why would you say you're single then? Because it's really in between work and then work. <laughs> I try squeezing going out. So. Okay. Yeah, when I go to the club, I wouldn't say, oh, yeah, there's a guy. I prefer not to meet a guy in the club because yeah. that's not the right kind of guy mm. kind of thing. I see. So Because I'm out to be with my girls, not necessarily look for a guy. Yeah. So then where would you say is the right place to find um, a guy? Is it Well, places those... right now. I mean, we're talking right now, aren't we? Yeah. Fair enough. So yeah. why is it that you're single? Why are you single? Well, I would just say because I haven't found Mr. Right yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not that I'm picky, but when I when I want something, I make sure that it's mine. Okay. So yeah, you, you want the right thing. Rather yeah. Than I don't just... just want you know an imitation or anything. I want yeah. the real thing. Why do you think you're single? Guess I haven't found the right person. That person that's my match. Well, that's why I'm here today, to find him. You have a really nice voice, it's very soothing. Oh yeah, you think so? Yeah, it is. Yeah, a lot of people tend to say I'm quite a calm individual. I like to think, myself, think of myself as quite calm Yeah, well, seeing so. it comes across in your voice. Yeah, well how would you describe yourself in, um, in three words? Hmm, petite, mm -hmm. natural. Okay. And, hmm, what's the, uh, what's the word? Hmm, tempting. 
<laughs> I see, I see. That's, that's very interesting. Mm-hmm. If I was to you know, answer the same question, I think I would say, well, a lot of people tend to find me quite funny. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, I know. I definitely know being funny is like, you know, the root for a woman's heart. Yeah. Um, uh, I'd say I was quite tall. Right. And again, I'd say I was very ambitious. That's good. Yeah, so I don't know. Can, can you handle somebody who's quite ambitious? Yeah, so am I. It's good. You have, that means you have a good drive. Yeah. But you go after it. You don't let anyone stand in your way. Mm. You do your thing. You put your thing down, really. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you know about that. Yeah, it's all about putting your thing down. Yeah, definitely. But do you have any hobbies or I don't know? You say you like going to the gym. How often do, yeah. you, do you go to the gym? You say you crack your teeth as well. Like right? three times a week. Okay. Yeah, because I'm full time at my job. Ah, I see. So you kind of just have to squeeze it in yeah. here and go wherever you can. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say you're quite a family oriented individual? Do you see your mummy and daddy quite regularly? Yeah, like I have to, like if I didn't, I'd get, you know, get shot or something. Like I have to go and see them yeah. to make sure that I'm okay and I, you know, it's me and just my brother really. So I have to make sure we check it. Okay, I see. So you, you obviously make sure that you're looking after your, your mum and daddy quite well. Yeah, of course. That's the most important thing. Yeah, definitely. And of I, course, they're always asking, when are you getting married? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. To be honest, well, to be honest, my parents are not always asking me when I'm when I'm getting married, but I like to. I feel like it's I've reached that point in my life where I need a little bit more. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, like I've I've got everything I need. I've got the money. I've got the stability. Now I just need that that one person that I can find that you know will care for me and and all that sort of stuff. Then, yeah. To be Would you say you're quite a good cook or? I would say my cooking skills would give Jamie Oliver a run for his money because wow. the weight of a man's heart is through his stomach. Okay, so you know how to make um, all this African cuisine that Jamie Oliver likes to make as well? His one is not matching what, what is actually the real thing. Oh yeah, so you believe that you've got, you've got the real thing there? Yeah, real thing. Yeah? You've got that touch. Mm. So you add your own, you add your own touch to, to whatever dish you yeah, make? Yeah, of course. Mm got to mix it up so you can win a man's heart through his stomach mm, of course i can yeah yeah that's really interesting because i'm the whole package you sound like a very confident individual well you have to be mm, yeah, I, like my motto in life is you have to have confidence in yourself for anyone to have confidence in you do you know what i mean mm, yeah yeah so i like that that's good because i take no prisoners oh wow so you sound like you just you just eat somebody up Oh, if you want me to, I don't mind. Mm. Well, I like to think of myself as quite a gentleman, so if you want to take off your blindfold first, I, w- I won't say no. Okay. Yeah, so. so you want me to go first? I don't know. Do you want to go first? You want I'll me to go, go first. first? Yeah, I'll go okay. first. No, you go first. You go no, first. I, I no, because you should. offered, but no, <laughs> I'll return the favour. You so go that, first. Just in case you don't see what you like in it, you can just go and I'll be like, okay, cool. Wow. Okay. Next lecture. You, you're 100% sure about that? Yes, yeah, cool. Okay, I'll take my blindfold off first then. Okay. I've dated white women, I've dated Asian, I've dated you know, black women, Nigerian women. But if I was to say I had a preference, I'd definitely say it was Nigerian women, just because you know, it just makes everything a lot easier with the family. Um, definitely you have somebody that can care for you, you know, someone who can also cook for you, um, just somebody who's always there really. I'd say a lot of the times when it comes to dating, it's more like getting to know the person, um, just trying to, you know, trying to find somebody that matches with you. That's probably one of the one of the hardest things to do when you're, you know, going from person to person, trying to find the right one. He's still there. Are you hiding? Yeah, from yeah, me? I'm still here. I'm still here. Okay, my turn. Hello. How's it going? You're all right. You're all right? Yeah, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? It's good. It's good. Yeah. So, what do you like? What you see? Or yeah, it's very, it's very nice. Very, very 
very nice, very all... Yeah, trim and proper. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You have to keep and you've got a gap between your teeth as yeah. well. So, um, do you want to stay? Do you want to go? How Why not feel? stay in it? Do Enjoy it. Right, do you cool. want to stay or...? Yeah, I'll stay. I'll yeah, stay. you'll definitely, stay? Yeah. So you didn't say, are you impressed? Yeah, no, I'm definitely impressed. Yeah. I see. I see. You say you go to the gym quite often, quite regularly, so I can yeah. definitely see that in you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'd like to say that I'm very, you know, ambitious as well. Once, you know, I give you my heart, it's yours. And, you know, give you loads of love and affection and anything you want, really. So, what country are you from? So, I'm half Indian, half Jamaican. Okay, I see. So, obviously, I'm Nigerian. I'm from yeah. Nigeria. Um, do, you, do you sort of like your African men? Or? Literally, it doesn't bother me if you're a hot guy mm -hmm. who's you know got what I'm looking for it does not matter mm, I see I see and you know you must know your culture as well yeah, kind definitely. of thing so you know when kids come along mm. you can pass that on to the kids definitely definitely so um obviously I don't know uh... <laughs> oh man uh, Why am I am I that it distracting? Yeah, you have nice eyes. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like your teeth as well and your smile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you get that quite a lot or not. Yeah, I do actually, yeah. but it sounds very nice coming from you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. You, um, you know what my name is, right? Say it again, because I don't like mispronouncing people's names. So it's Kule. Kule. Yeah, you, 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 Kunle. Yeah, let's yeah. let's let's leave have that you, as a work in progress. Have you got like a nickname people call you? Why are you literally no, just go just by straight, that? No, just straight, just straight. Just my name. Yeah. All right. Cool. But my name, my full name is Ade Kunle. Ade. Yeah, Ade Kunle. So why don't I just call you Ade? You can call me Ade, but I prefer Kunle. Yeah. You know, if I'm looking to take you further, I prefer people to call me by my actual no, name. No, that's fair enough. It's yeah. just so. It's literally. I actually call you. Yeah. And I'm like, are you hearing me, babe? Are you hearing me? <laughs> of course I yeah, hear you. you, you know, know there's no way that I can't like, hear you. Yeah. Because, you know, African names all have a meaning. Yeah. So my name, obviously, has a meaning. Ade usually means crown. And yeah. then the rest of my name, Kunle, would mean um, of the house. So essentially, yeah. it's crown of the house. Do you, do you know what I'm trying to say? So you're the king. Yeah. Basically, I am the king. You're, you're the lord of the I'm looking. I'm looking to be the next king of an empire. Yeah. Do you understand? So, which is why I'm kind of looking for a wife at the moment. Mm. You know what I mean? Which is when I say sad. wife, I don't mean girlfriend. I don't mean for us to just you know. Yeah, you don't mean a bay. You for, mean a ring on finger walking down what, the aisle. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know it. So, what mm. about you? Are you looking for a husband? If you yeah, find, that's if you the find goal. a husband, if you find a husband next week, what would you say to that? Married. Uh, I don't know if you want to order something. Or I'll let you pick. Have you been here before? No, I've never been here. I don't yeah. know if you want a drink or if you want to, something to... Why don't we get eat. some shots in? You want to get some shots? Yeah, like a Jaeger bomb or something. Start it off, in it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. No worries. Where's the... I'm not really, I'm not really too sure what the, um, what the drinks menu is. We could just ask them and go, mate. Yeah. We've got Jaeger bombs ready, yeah? Cool. Let's, let's see if we can ask somebody. Let's get it. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe get a, a few drinks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, you know. Is it too early to say, like, get some shots in, babe? Wow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> straight to the point. Yeah, you don't, you don't mess around, you know. Out here. Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> like a Jaeger bomb. And um, we don't have oh, Red no. Bull. Or Jaeger, actually. Oh my god, what <laughs> yeah. about... Okay, we'll leave that do, for now. Do you do cocktails, maybe? Yeah, we've got the cocktail menus just there. Oh yeah. Do you do, okay. you do, do you a porn star? No, we don't. Oh my gosh, do you do anything similar to <laughs> do that? Do you do anything that you want? <laughs> oh my gosh, I guess it's making me like having to try something new, I guess. Definitely. Which is nothing wrong with that. Do, 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 do. I can tell you some that I like. Go on, what's that? Um, so I like that one, that one, the Amaretto Sour is really good. Um, and the Collins. 
you know, I'll let you recommend for me. Whichever one you feel has Ooh, Yeah, like I fancy flavor. that one you said. Yeah, that sounds interesting. It sounds sexy. Yeah. yeah. It sounds sexy. Yeah. Which one would you which one do you think? Um what, the, what do you like? Because this one's like not so sweet, it's more like bitter, I'd mm. say. What about this orange yeah. old fashioned? I haven't actually had it, but I'm just yeah. I don't mm, it's got like bourbon in it, yeah. If you're if you're into whiskey, then yeah, yeah you you're know like, what? I'll probably get what um what she's having. Okay. Yeah, just the exact same. Okay, yeah. That's it. You don't want food. No, not yet. We're okay. warming up to that. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> even she was quite surprised by you know. But you know, I'm, I'm not complaining. Go big or go home. That's it. You know that. You know them ones. See that definitely. Yeah. 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 It's definitely someone I'd like to show to my parents. To be yeah. With. Like my parents would prefer me if I was um, to go for a Nigerian girl. Yeah. So how would they feel that you'll turn up with a girl that's not Nigerian, mm -hmm. but half Jamaican, half Indian? To be honest, at the end of the day, they'll like whoever I bring to the table. Mm. You know what I mean? If they don't like it, then so be it, sort of thing. Parents love me. Parents love you, yeah. I think my mommy and daddy would love you too. Yeah. They'd love you because I love you. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So that doesn't really matter to me, anyways. Mm. Whether they, whether they like you or not. Yeah. Yeah. They're just, they're forced to love you. Hmm. <laughs>